Connect the HP 970-975 series wireless keyboard to HP Accessory Center. The HP 970-975 series wireless keyboard features Bluetooth 5.0 and 2.4 GHz connection, over 20 programmable buttons, long-lasting battery, smart settings, and many other features. This video will include an explanation of what to expect when unboxing the keyboard, how to set it up with your PC, and an overview of the keyboard features offered through HP Accessory Center. Unboxing and setting up the HP 970-975 series keyboard. Open the box from either end and slide the smaller box out. Inside this box, you will find the keyboard, USB dongle, charging cable, and the quick start poster. On the side of the keyboard, you will see the charging ports. The HP 970-975 series keyboard has an average battery life of 6 months with normal use. You can connect the keyboard to your PC using either the USB dongle or via the Bluetooth settings on your computer. When you connect the keyboard for the first time, you will need to set it up with HP Accessory Center or HPAC to utilize all of its features. For Windows computers, HPAC will download automatically. From the Microsoft Store, you can check on the download from Downloads and Updates. For Mac computers, HPAC will not automatically download, but you can search for and download it from the Apple Store. Exploring Keyboard Features After HPAC has been downloaded, open the app to access the full range of features offered by the keyboard. The very first time HPAC is opened after you have connected the keyboard, you will see a series of setup prompts to guide you through the initial setup process. After the setup prompts, you will be brought to the main keyboard configuration page. From here, you will be able to customize the settings for your HP 970-975 series keyboard. On the top right, you will see the battery indicator and the connection status of the keyboard. Below the keyboard graphic, you will see the options Information, Tutorial, and Manual. Selecting Information provides product information such as the model name and firmware version. Selecting Tutorial will bring you back to the setup prompts shown during the initial setup process. And Selecting Manual will open an online version of the Quick Start poster included with the keyboard. At the top of the page, you will see four page options Button Assignment, Backlight, Function Keys, and Manage Connections. Each of these pages allows you to customize a different part of the keyboard. Button Assignment allows you to select the functions of various keys by opening the drop-down menu for each key. The graphic of the keyboard displays the keys that are customizable. You can select a variety of button assignments for these keys. Just a few examples include copy or paste, volume up or down, and play or pause if you are playing media on your device. Under app-specific settings on the right, you can choose the functions of keys based on the specific app you are using. For example, if you want to select specific key functions for the Microsoft Word app, select that app from the drop-down menu and the button assignments you select will pertain only to Microsoft Word. The backlight page allows you to adjust the lighting settings of the keyboard. The maximum brightness bar controls how bright the keyboard can go. The duration bar allows you to control the amount of time the backlight remains on after using keys, ranging from 2 seconds to 30 seconds. Enabling backlight auto adjust allows the keyboard to automatically adjust the brightness based on the lighting in the room. Enabling Smart Sensor turns the keyboard brightness on when your hand is close to the keyboard and off when your hand is away from the keyboard. The Function Keys page allows you to control the function key lock settings. Enabling Function Lock will lock the function key and enabling Function Lock on Start will lock the function key when the device is started. To learn more, you can click on the information icon next to a function anytime you want to find out more about that specific feature. Lastly, the Manage Connections page allows you to view all other devices that the keyboard is connected to. From here, you can connect to and disconnect from other devices and control your connection settings. 
Click the Playlists tab in YouTube to find HP videos in other languages. And search our channel to find official HP support videos.